Hi YouTube, my name is Numi and I'm back in Florida for a few days and uh, bringing you a few of the coins that arrived here while I was gone. Um, it is very, very unusual for me to get a delivery from the US Mint. Um, I don't know whether they do deliver to the UK, but probably uh, not, or probably it's extremely expensive. But I ordered this coin last time I was here and uh, it came very quickly and I managed to get it held for a few days by UPS because when they deliver a coin it has to be uh, signed for by somebody uh, over 21 and they won't deliver it to a UPS store, only a UPS depot. So uh, it almost got sent back. But uh, I'm glad it wasn't because I wanted this coin in my collection. And uh, let me tell you what I think about it. Um, I think that the US Mint packaging is generally cheap and nasty. Uh, I think that uh, they don't put the same premiums on coins as the Royal Mint do, but uh, they do put significant premiums on these coins. And to be honest, the packaging is just cheap. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's cheap and nasty. Uh, it's around about the same kind of thing, if not a little bit worse than the Royal Mint were doing in the 90s. The Royal Mint have up their game in terms of packaging. Uh, it is about time the US Mint followed on from, uh, from us over in England and raised their game. So what we have here is the first uh, pink gold coin ever produced in America. I haven't seen one anywhere else either. But uh, one of the things that immediately struck me about this COA, um, and in fact I've noticed on other American COAs, is they aren't serialized. Um, seriously, guys, how much effort would it be to serialize COAs? Why don't you guys do it? What is the problem with producing an individual serialized COA and sending it out with these coins? Um, the first thing that strikes you when you look at this coin is that it is not very pink. You know, you expect to receive a pink coin. Uh, this is only 85% gold. The copper added to the coin gives it its pink gold color, but it really isn't very pink. And I've seen pink gold in, uh, I don't know, Rolex watches uh, with their Everose gold uh, or jewelry where I've seen jewelry with gold, pink, and white gold in the same set of uh, rings and bracelets and stuff. And this just doesn't seem very pink. So its lack of pinkness is a bit of a disappointment because if the Royal Mint, sorry, if the US Mint um, were producing the first pink gold coin, you would hope that it is a little bit more pinky than it is. So uh, the coin itself uh, is, uh, I think, actually kind of nice. It's got, you know, the young woman, the older woman, the, uh, the butterfly, um, you know, Liberty. Uh, I think, I think it's just a really, for an American coin, and I have problems with the design of a lot of American coins, but I, I, I think this is actually, um, pretty nice. There are two versions of this coin. The limit for both, com both versions combined is 50,000. When these were first put on order, um, they had a, a household limit of one coin per type. Um, I believe this has now been lifted. These haven't sold out. Um, I was quite enthusiastic when I first heard about this coin and I thought everybody would just buy these because of the great story and supporting breast cancer relief. Um, but I don't think that the take up has been as good as dealers imagined and as good as I imagined and as good as the industry pundits imagined. Um, although, I don't know. I mean, I've seen a lot of the graded coins and I will grade this one. Uh, and there are some special labels. There's a pink core, there's a white core. You know, I think the pink core is actually way, way too pink and looks pretty, pretty naff, if you ask me, uh, which is being produced by NGC. Um, I think only the dealers and bulk submitters can get the pink uh, version. 
but um, I will submit this. I will go for the special label and it'll join a few other special American gold coins that I've got, including the Centennial coins from 2016. So what do you guys think of it? Let me have your view. Um, is this one that, uh, that you will uh, pass on or is this one that will form part of your permanent stack or permanent collection despite uh, its premium from the US Mint?